Hello everyone. So today we are going to learn about um, configuring a simple network. And this is Packet Tracer. And Packet Tracer, the version that I'm using over here is the latest version which is available on the website. It's for 2021 version 8. So first thing that we are going to do is that if you are not very familiar with um, Packet Tracer, we are going to look at some of the features. So as we go, I'm going to show you the features as well, different um, um, features that it um, provides us. So first thing that we are going to do is, um, in order to create a simple network, I'm going to drag um, PC over here. Actually, um, two PCs over here and two PCs on the other side. So all together, four machines, which are um, endpoints. And then another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to grab. Uh, so if I, if you see my mouse and I hover over the devices, it's going to show you that um, these are the network devices. You can also use Control Alt um, R plus R in order to um, take a look at um, what devices are available. I'm just going to click on it. And over here, it gives me a router and switch and all these other devices so you can keep uh, hovering over all these devices and you are going to see what they are actually so what i need over here i need i need a switch so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to drag two switches over here on my network and then i'm going to bring a router at the top now we are going to start cabling and the cabling what is going to happen is so look at it as a real world scenario that you have all the equ equipment that is ready to set up the network and then you have to make the communication happen so the first thing is going to be if you are at the data center you have this equipment and now you are going to start the connections so you are going to hover over connections and um because these de devices are different types, you are connecting PC to a switch and switch to a router, you will be using this cable. And if you, um, if you take a look at the bottom, this is copper straight through cable. If we were connecting similar devices, then it would be this one, which is copper crossover. But now we want this one. So I'm going to um, hold the control key, click on that and then select ethernet on this device and connect it to the switch so when i do that it's going to give me the option to select fast ethernet so we selected zero one and that is connected same thing we are going to do with this appliance with uh, this pc connected to the switch when i click on it, it this one is connected to zero two Again, I'm going to go to my third PC over here, and then I'm going to connect it to Fast Ethernet 0, connect it to the switch, and it's connected to 0, 1. Same is for the fourth PC. I'm going to connect it to Fast Ethernet 0, and then it will be connected to 0, 2. Once I do that, then I will need to connect these switches to the router. So I'm going to select one of my switches, and connect it to the router and that's going to be gigabit ethernet 00 for this one and it's port 03 and this one is going to be giga, gigabit ethernet 01 so now everything is connected but they are not communicating yet because we have not assigned any ips so um now we are going to start assigning the ip addresses and that's how we are going to do it. Uh, we are going to use class C for this example. And when I go to my first PC, I go to desktop and I go to IP configuration. And uh, we are going to use static IP address here. So I would say 192.168.10.1. Um, and this is my subnet mask. And um, I'm not assigning gateway yet, we will come back to it. So I'm just going to close that and then I'm going to my second PC, go to desktop, go to IP configuration and over here, 
I'm going to do 192, 168, um, 10.3. And this is my subnet mask and I'm just going to close that. So once I do that, um, then I know that these pieces are on 192, 168 subnet. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my router and I see that when I go to configuration, I see it has two interfaces, 00 and 01. So if I close this window and I look at it, which one did we use for this network? Because there are two different lines over here. So for this particular one, we on the left hand side, we ended up using 00. So I'm going to go back to my router and I say configuration and I select 00 over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it an IP address, which is 192.168.10.1. Um, this is the subnet mask. So, but before you close it, always remember that uh, there is an on button on the upper right hand side corner. Otherwise, it won't be turned on. So you are going to click on that um, on button so that it's turned on and then you are going to close that uh, window. So now it's green, which means that it is communicating. Um, the best way to test this is uh, we can ping. Uh, from the router, we can ping one of these PCs and from the PC, we can ping the router to see if the communication is actually happening over here. So I go to PC zero and I'm going to go to command prompt and I say, I want to ping uh, 192.168.10.1, which is the router IP address and we are getting the response. So that's really good. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the router and I say, I want to ping um, First, I'm going to exit out of this um, config mode. So I do exit and then I do one more exit and now I'm on router only mode. So I'm going to ping 192.168.10.1 uh, um, and the, what was the IP of the second uh, one was 10.2. So that's success. So they are actually communicating. Now what I'm going to do is, uh, we still have this other LAN over here. And this is something I really wanted to show my students that um, you only configured this router for, uh, when you go to configuration for this port, which is Ethernet 00 port. And when you go here, you have the IP, but you haven't configured anything about the 01 port. But this port is also in use and it's used by this LAN. And uh, so let's um, IP this one too and see what's happening. So we are going to go to desktop and IP configuration. And this, um, just assume that uh, this particular network is on 172. So we can say 172.16.10.1. Um, this is my subnet mask and we are going to give it, um, okay, before we give it a gateway, I'm just going to close that and then I'm going to go back to desktop for this one and then I assign the IP address 172.16.0.3 and give it class C address then I go back to my router and I say configure this one and this one is 172 16 0 part 1 and I give it the subnet mask
Okay, so once I do that, then I'm going to go back to my uh, PC configuration. Oh, uh, it's red right now. So remember what we forgot. We did not turn it on. So it's turned on right here. And um, now what I'm going to do is, because we know the router address, we are going to go back to the PC configuration and give it the gateway, which is 172.16.0.1. And I'm going to enter the gateway for that one too. 172.16.0.1. So this is all communicating. These are all um, communicating. Let me close that window. Okay, so we already checked um, the communication for this one. Now we are going to check the communication for this one, which is, um, I'm going to go here and try to ping the router. So 172.16.0.1. And we are getting a response. Now we go to the router and we go to this Ethernet um, because that's the one which is using by this particular um, network. And then we see, okay, everything is here. I go to CLI. I'm going to get out of this uh, config IF mode. And I'm going to, say, to, do, uh, to do that, you can say exit and exit again. And now you are in a router mode and then you are going to say ping 172.16.0.2 and it's a success. So that's all for today um, and we are going to be um, learning more about um, how the communication happens between two routers. Right now we have only one router over here. But in the other video, we are going to learn about how the two routers, how two routers are connected and how the communication happens. And also, uh, we will look at the scenario when um, two networks are in the same subnet, but we do need to split them um, in order to um, for the communication to happen. So that's another thing we will be learning in other classes. Thank you so much for joining and I'll see you in the next video.